these are bolo tea beans in this video today i'll share with you how i pick them and why i pick them at this stage and how i store them join us as i share what i do with bolo tea beans they're also called cranberry beans in the united states obviously from the beautiful color so this is what it looks like <laughs> sneaking in here i grow in any space i can so as you can see now the bolo tea beans are ready i like picking them when they're still sort of fresh beans not dried but you need to ensure that you have a deep color as you can see this is perfect i'll show you i'll pick one that's not quite there although it's swollen it's not quite red that one is not quite dark but it's still swollen and i'll show you the difference in the pods i'm just gonna go ahead and pick a few of them this is what we've picked today so how do you know when it's quite ready to pick and i'll show you let me take one more so this is how bolotti beans are when i want them ready to pick now this is the baby beans you can actually eat them like you eat french beans at this stage they're still tender they're still crunchy absolutely delicious really nice yeah mm. i'll enjoy that because i have a, an abundance of french beans and i really want bolotti for the seeds i wait till this stage to pick them okay if you pick them when they're still green okay or partially red i'll show you the difference in the seeds so i'll take one that's fully really red and one that's green and one that's that way and you can see now let's start with this one that's midway so this is a bit darker it's swollen you think oh yeah it's ready to pick the the pods are really looking swollen as you can see and this one is not even looking as swollen but fully red just a few stripes on it let's see the difference so opening this up this pod okay we have beautiful huge seeds so that's why it's quite swollen but the seeds are green which is fine if you want to eat them like this obviously it's perfect it's big these ones that are not quite swollen or fat the seeds will be really pretty small let's see can you see the difference there okay so for me i'd rather have big seeds than tiny baby seeds and not waste my harvest and get a bit more for my buck for my you know pocket but the best way i find to harvest them let me take this and save this i dropped one the best way to harvest them is at this stage and i'll pot them and i'll show you there's a huge difference look at that this has turned color it's not even as colorful as i thought but this has got a few pink strands there whereas these ones are all green but they're all perfectly edible I've actually the young tender ones you can eat raw at this stage okay because they're still really young they won't cause digestive this comfort cooking them you can saute them you can make sauces you can make curries you can make anything really with bolotti it tastes almost like a like a broad beans when cooked but not as sweet or as you know soft and i don't know how to describe it but they're quite easy beans to cook because they take a lot of flavors from what you're cooking so it's really delicious to add them to whatever you're making and obviously it's a punch of protein there plant protein plant power so if you're growing bolotti beans this is half of what i'm growing i'm growing half of this at the allotment and half at home i love growing them and i really enjoy them in my cookings in the winter months so if you want to grow bolotti beans you want to harvest it try doing it fresh you can also do the dry ones let it dry on the pod i also save my seeds these are all from saved seeds dry it on the pod and then you obviously you soak it like you soak any other beans and you cook it but that takes a little longer to cook and also can give digestive discomforts because some people have bloating and gas with beans so if you want to avoid that the best way to do it is picking it green but unfortunately you probably can't buy green or fresh or wet beans 
at the shop so you're better off buying the dried ones and cooking them anyway thank you for watching has this video added any value to you give us a thumbs up also like share and subscribe until next time i'll see you in another video i'll just pour a few of the beans and you see the difference in the color it's such a beautiful beans easy to store and then it's so easy to use in the winter months especially if you've got freezer space this is how i store it i start with a small container i've only picked a couple of times so this is the first storage as you can see it's um, a mixture and this is today's one and eventually i'll have a bigger jar or a ziploc bag depending on how much i get and it really goes a long way in my cooking so let's just go ahead and pour these so this is the easiest way to pour you cut it once you pull there and you see makes life easier there's no need to faff around so just cut one end pull the strand there and you just go all the way through one more time for those of you that haven't seen that properly you see what I've done and you just walk your way there and it's easy yeah I think I'm still picking them quite early but they're not yeah they haven't turned I don't want I just don't want them dry I don't want them dry at all I want them nice and green the so cut go that way and then you open all across see even with this one looking so red it's not quite there the next time I harvest which will be in about a week's time I'll need a big jar a ziplock bag because I have a lot getting ready for picking 